I'm going to go over some needle up troubleshooting. Now what I'm about to show you, you may want to do if you get a caution needle up timed out error message or a single stitch timed out error message. These are some things that we can check. First we need to go to Creative Studio, left click on Tools, Technical Support, and Diagnostics. If you're running Creative Studio 6, it will bring you right to this window. However, if you're running Creative Studio 5, you'll see a connections window. All you need to do is highlight the pink text and click connect. This will then take you to the window that you see here. It may come up with a message telling you that this is a technical support area. Don't worry about that. Everything's fine. Click OK. Next, go to your hand wheel and rotate it. It doesn't matter whether you do it clockwise or counterclockwise. And notice how your needle up indicator will change colors from green to red or red to green. I wanted to clarify a few things about the needle up indicator. In CS versions 5 and 6, the indicator will start red and it will turn green when the needle is in the up position. If you're running Creative Studio versions 4.2 and lower, the needle up circle may be called index and the colors will be swapped. So it may start green and then turn red when the needle is in the up position. So now let's begin our test. Go to the back of the head and find this rectangular cable. Should be right above the keypad and right under a hand wheel. You may need to loosen these screws here before it will come out easily. There we go. You'll need a paper clip and what we're going to do next is short out pin number 14 and 15. Now with the shorter side of the connector up, pins 14 and 15 are the top leftmost two pins. Now in order to short those pins, you just need to simply touch both pins with the metal paper clip. Now this should make the needle up indicator change color. If it does not change here, but does change in the next step, then replace the Z signal cable. Our next step, we need to go to the back of the controller and we will see a number of cables. We need to unplug the cable that's labeled Z. Again, you may need to loosen some of these screws before this comes out. There we go. After you have unplugged your Z cable from the back of the controller, we need to short out pins 14 and 15 with our paper clip tool that we used earlier. This should make the needle up indicator change color. If it does not, replace the Galil board inside the controller. If the indicator changes in both locations, open the top of the machine head and check for a broken or loose wire. We are at the top of the head. We need to take this plate off by taking off these two screws. We can unscrew these screws by using a 3 30 seconds Allen wrench. All right, after you've removed the screws, gently lift this plate up, being careful not to pull any wires. Just examine the board underneath, see if there are any loose wires. If there are, appears to be no loose wires and you're still having a problem, call technical support.